Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, giving me them big old thumbs up, commenting on my videos, at least nice ones. If you got a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook, and I'll be happy to try to answer them. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. If you want, go ahead and turn the volume down on your computer when you find the spot of the video that you're looking for and just letting them play it all through. That helps me out a lot. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the instrument cluster out of my 2010 Jeep Liberty. It should be the same as your 2008, 2009, 2010, 11, 12, maybe even your 13. Um, I didn't break anything taking it apart, even though this was the first time I ever took one apart, but it was pretty simple. So you guys should have no problems doing it. I'm sure you'll do a great job. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down on this panel right here, and this just quint simply drops down and is meant to unfold. I've already done the work, so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna remove the trim bezel for the radio, and then we're gonna pop this piece up right here, and then that'll allow us access to a Phillips screw right here pull this a pillar panel off and then we'll pull this out then at the end of all of that there'll be four screws that hold the instrument cluster on i'm going to get to it and show you guys how to do it so the first thing we do is we pull the top of this off here and that's going to allow us to unplug heater controls down here on the bottom, we have one little plug, and it has a little clip right on the side of there. I'm trying to twist it around. You push on that little clip, and then you pull it out. Then we're going to go ahead and do these. And we have what's called a lock. We're going to pull that lock straight up like that. And then we'll be able to push in the center of that, and then pull that plug out. And then we have... a one right here pull that out and then we have our cigarette lighter we don't necessarily need to remove that so we'll just take this and set this to the side right there put our shifter back up and park downward position I don't think you need to remove these covers I have them off for a different reason then with that off of there it allows us to get our hand inside here pull that back pull this one back now we're gonna pull down the, the rubber from the door cell. We're not gonna pull that all the way out because we don't want it to stretch. And we're gonna pull out the B pillar trim or A pillar trim, I spoke incorrectly. Get that out of the way because that locks down inside the top of our speaker cover. We can gently pull up on this and I did this all with my hands. I did not use any tools to do this. And hopefully we can get this piece out now. This is the only screw that I found so far, so we're gonna have to get a Phillips and take that out. With that one screw removed, I was able to get this speaker cover off, and now I can remove the four screws that hold in the dash cluster. With our four screws removed, we're able to unplug our instrument cluster by simply depressing the clips and pulling them out. Obviously that wasn't as bad as anyone thought and installation works in the exact opposite way Like I said at the beginning of the video, if this is helpful Please consider subscribing at least turning down the volume on your computer or your phone and let my videos just play on through Remember if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. It's always better to repair it than replace it God bless you guys. Have a great day. Thank you so much for viewing